Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be talking about the Zoya Focus Collection. There are, of course, as you probably know, two collections out for fall from Zoya, and one is like their liquid metallic collection, and the other one is just all creams. So first we're going to cover the creams today, and tomorrow we'll talk about the flare collection. So the Focus Collection, like I said, it's six creams, and they give you some really gorgeous colors for fall, and then some neutrals in there too. So I actually... Between the two collections, this one is my favorite. Um, I'm a sucker for good cream, and let me tell you guys, pretty much all of these are one coaters, and that made me very, very happy. There are two reds in here, and they're really, really similar to each other, so I don't necessarily feel like they really needed to have both of those reds. But other than that, I thought this collection was great. So we're gonna go ahead and get into live application swatching so you can see for yourself how they apply before you purchase and know if you want them or not. I'm gonna tell you what's on my lips. This dark brown shade that I usually don't wear dark brown, but I was kind of, you know, in the brown family mood for this video um, <clears throat> is Maybelline Nude Nuance. It's one of their matte lippies. So yeah, I'm kind of feeling it. So anyway, that's what that looks like there, and yeah, enjoy. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with the two reds. So like I said, they are very, very similar to each other. Basically one is just a little bit lighter than the other one, but um, <clears throat> I don't know, to me, they're so similar that I don't really think that they had to include them both. See how similar they are? I mean, they definitely could have taken the darker one like much darker, but whatever if you really love red polish then you're gonna love these so the first one the lighter of the two is called Hannah and um, basically it's it's not exactly a cherry red even though it's it is brighter than the other one it does have a just a little tiny drop of brown in it but not that much but that is the thing that I noticed when I was looking through all my polishes to see what this compared to that um, you know made it different from a regular cherry reds that we see all the time. Um, I wrote down a few things that I thought this was similar to. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I thought this was pretty similar to OPI Romantically Involved from the Fifty Shades of Grey collection and China Glaze with Love. So, you know, basically it's just your basic red cream. However, it's a gorgeous one coater. So, you know, you can't really do any better than that. Let's take a look. The second red in the collection is called Janelle. This is a different kind of spelling than I've ever seen before. J-A-N-E-L. Really pretty. And it's just a little bit darker than Hannah, basically. Um, I don't feel like it's darker necessarily like on the burgundy side. It's darker like maybe it had two drops of brown instead of where Hannah had like one. Um, so they're just very, very close. I thought something in my collection that this looked pretty similar to was Essie Dress to Kilt and OPI Amour at the Grand Canal from the recent Venice collection was pretty similar to this as well. So let's see how she swatches.
about this gorgeous bright blue here. It is called Sia. And um, basically, I was when I was looking through my collection to see what this was super similar to, I either had a lot of polishes that had a lot more white in them than this, or didn't have quite as much white as this. I didn't really have anything that I could match up that, where I could say this looks exactly like that color. So that made me happy because even though it's a basic primary blue, I didn't have anything that was, you know, like exactly, exactly like it. Um, I did feel like if you have Ulta Blue Streak, that was the polish that I thought came the closest to this. Um, but everything else was like a little bit more royal blue, just a little bit more pigmented. Um, however, I did want to mention that um, in my collection, one of the polishes that kind of came close to this was Sally Hansen Pacific Blue. And um, the only difference is that Pacific Blue had a little bit more white than this. So they're close, but if you... You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't call them dupes at all. Like I said, I didn't find anything that exactly duped this, but it's a gorgeous one coater. Um, it went on like a dream, like all Zoya polishes do, and I didn't have any staining with this at all. So um, yeah, I thought it was fun to kind of find a color that was pretty similar to Pacific Blue. But Pacific Blue, it just has that thing where it just has enough white in it where it's like this gorgeous primary or like a royal blue but it has so much white in it that it's just it's so vibrant on the nail you guys know what I'm talking about right well this this is pretty close but it's just a little bit darker so anyway let's go ahead and see how Sia swatches So the next polish I want to talk to you about is probably my favorite in the collection and it's this gorgeous purple called Lydia and um, she's kind of in the middle there between a plum and a grape but it's just gorgeous 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 dark purple so um, yeah I just am so crazy about this one. Anyway um, some things that I found that were similar to this is actually another OPI a polish from the recent Venice collection. The um, polish called OC Suzy Mio was pretty close to this. However, this has a far superior formula. It's great at one coat, and I felt like Oh Suzy Mio was actually a little bit um, on the thin side, even at two coats, like when you compare them side by side. Um, I'm not going to be doing photo comparisons, by the way, as you probably already noticed since we're already to the fourth polish. I'm just kind of letting you know some polishes that I think are similar. But um, this is just... Is so gorgeous. Another polish that I thought was similar to this was um, Julep Gale, which if you watched my favorite polishes for fall, it was in there. So this would have probably made it into my favorite polishes for fall if I had reviewed this before I made that video. But anyway, I really like it. Let's take a look. Okay, so if you were thinking that this collection was too basic for you, like it really wasn't changing things up a lot, I think where you're going to find some kind of funky colors here are in the neutrals, and let me tell you why. Um, the first one, the lighter one, is called Charlie, and it's kind of this gray-brown hybrid, but with a little tiny bit of green in it. And I, when you add green to like, 
When you add green to a gray, it doesn't get weird, but when you add it to a brown, it can kind of um, be a little bit funny looking. I do think this is a really pretty color, um, but when I was putting it up against other gray greens, um, the difference was it, was it has that brown quality in it. And so, um, I don't know, I didn't really find anything super, super close to this. For example, Nicole Biopi, My Empire Rules from the Kardashian collection is kind of close to this, but it doesn't have as much green in it. So, um, I know when you're probably looking at this right now, you're like, that doesn't look green. But believe me, like when you put it up next to other brown grays, that's the difference. So, um, I did want to say though that like OPI Atope the Space Needle, that one's pretty well known for being a fairly yellow, greenish toned brown. It's not quite as, you know, green as that. So, anyway, I didn't have anything exactly dupe a bowl for this one, um, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how Charlie swatches. Okay, last up is the polish called Desiree, and again, this one is, this one's like a milk chocolate brown with a little bit of green in it, so um, it's just so interesting. I mean, in the, at first glance, like I'm showing you right now, you're probably not thinking that it really has green in it, but again, the way that I was able to pick that out is when I compare it to other polishes side by side, the actual swatches, not in the bottle, and it is what I'm wearing on my nails here today. As you can see, it's this nice dark chocolate brown. I feel like this one probably needs a second coat, but you could definitely get away with one as you can see. I just have one here, but when you're looking up close at it, I could still see like a little bit through to the nail, but it is really, really lovely. I thought in my collection what it was most similar to was um, Color Club Fondue for Two, which is a really nice like milk chocolate brown. That one has a little bit more white in it than this, and um, again, I just want to say it's not quite as greeny brown or like yellow toned brown as um, China Glaze Mahogany Magic. So just so you know, it's not really quite like that, but that is what the difference is. So anyway, let's go ahead and see how she swatches. So that was the whole review. I have to say, I just, I'm really, really loving this collection from them because Zoya just blows it out of the park with formula. For me, they aren't necessarily the brand I really look forward to seeing their collections for their ingenuity and for their creativity, but they are so dependable as far as formula goes. Not necessarily, I know a lot of people didn't really like, um, their satin polishes as far as formula goes, but like everything else, I mean, especially creams, their formula is just so, so good. So I really recommend this collection to you if you love a good cream and if you're wanting some great fall basics. And besides the reds, um, you know, I didn't necessarily find anything, oh, this is exactly like that, you totally don't need this color. And for me, I think all reds kind of look very similar anyway, so I never feel like, oh, I just need more reds, but that's me personally. Um, otherwise, I felt like there was a lot of 
you know, interesting things in here, definitely some gorgeous cream formula. So that is my review. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, you can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. We do live application of any new collection I can get my hands on so that you can see, you know, what to expect before you purchase. So yeah, thanks for stopping in today, guys. I love you so much and I will hopefully see you back tomorrow for the Flare Collection review and have a great day. Bye.